All right. What's going on YouTube man, it's Panda, and welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. If y'all are new to Fears to Fathom and y'all never seen a game like this, so as y'all can see it says it's an episodic horror. So people that submit these stories to Fears to Fathom, to the dev, and then the dev team kind of makes a game story around possibly true events or stories that happen to people. So it's, it's kind of fire, bro. It's a cool concept. This is not my first rodeo. I played a Fears to Fathom game a while ago on the channel, in one of my earlier videos. It was, it was terrifying, bro. See, it says right here, Fears of Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. Right, that sums it up perfectly what's going on, bro. Woodbury Getaway. I never played Iron Bark Lookout, nor Wood Hitchhike, or Home Alone. Let me know if y'all interested in seeing those, bro. I'll make that happen for y'all. But let's get right into it. Okay, okay, okay. Need a coffee to get done with the day. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't like this already. Like, desks that's like this, bro, is, it really creeped me out. Let's go ahead and get up. Holy man. Yeah, I kind of like the retro look that these games have, bro. It's, it's quite fire. Okay, you still see people on the streets. That don't make me feel so bad. That make me feel kind of okay, bro. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, one thing that I got to mention. One thing I got to mention. The, the, uh... Okay, I need to prepare a cup of coffee. All right. It's the, um, the ambience. And the sounds in this game is ridiculous, bro. Okay. So I do I really like build the car? Oh wow. Oh wow. I really like build the coffee. I never made coffee before in real life. I'm being completely transparent with y'all, so I don't know what I'm doing. Do I take this? Okay. I keep I keep turning around because I'm spooked, bro. Like, how do they expect me to Alright, do I put the cup in okay, hold on. Dude, I really don't know how to make coffee in real life. This sucks. This is this is horrible. Hold on. Uh, I put that in there. Creamer didn't need to go in the machine. Okay, uh, then get rid of creamer. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Don't you put water? Need an empty cup to fill water. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on to something. I'm on to something. I'm on to something. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm loving this already. Dude, I, I'm really thinking about playing the other ones. And I put the water in there. Come on now. Nip. Dude, did y'all hear that footstep? I didn't move. Stop playing, bro. And then we hit the button. Turn around. You're not, you're not getting me, bro. You're not getting me. I need to probably start exploring more games like this that you can finish in a sitting. You know what I mean? Because I did the finales, but... Oh, God. I need to put a lid on it. Okay. Dude, I'm so spooked. I'm so spooked, bro. I, I'm spooked. Here we go. Lid on grab it nice go ahead and get a little sip well i get back to my work now okay do y'all hear that music though like the little the, the ambience is crazy like bro am i okay get back to work bro i'm not i'm done looking up there bro because if i see something i'm gonna I'm i have to pee all right, that's fine. You would think that it's scary being here by yourself. Dude, somebody else is typing, bro. Close that door, bro. Jesus. Ambience is crazy. Ambience is crazy. I just heard typing, bro. Take another sip. Oh, okay. I try to go to the men's bathroom. I am a woman. Hey, I'm a woman in this situation. So what's, uh, you know? Don't make it weird. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's close the door behind. Come on now. Keep it real ladylike and professional. Oh, God. That's a grown man. That is a grown man. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh, 
Excellent, bro. Excellent. Way to wake me up, bro. Way to wake me up. Look at that dumb look on his face after that, bro. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. Uh-huh. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well... You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. Thanks. <laughs> like, imagine, like, dude. Let me wash my hands, bro. Let me wash my hands, dude. Yo. That's a crazy one. That's a crazy one. I mean, oh, I could talk, keep talking to him. I meet a lot. Oh, <clears throat> what? <laughs> I meet a lot late night workers. But you're one of the most dedicated ones here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting weird. I'm going to head out, bro. I'm, I'm going to head out. I knew something was up, bro. I knew it. I knew something was up. I go back to my desk now. Okay, so the jump scare is on that level? You love that. You love that. God, this is horrible, bro. Please don't scare me again. Who's calling? Nobody? Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh, okay. The voice acting. Who's, who's Mike? Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you're getting no response on that one, buddy. No, even cut out on my client earlier. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna be bogus. <laughs> I ain't gonna be bogus. Um, I'm scared. He could be the killer. Okay, bro. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Oh, it's been overwhelming. Just here over time. Just more over time. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. You're right, bro. Cheer me up, bro. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. I was going to do it. Nora. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey, mm -hmm. I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Oh, I don't say nothing here. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds good, bro. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. No more. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What's up, bro? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Sure, I'll find something affordable. Going very well for her. With the, with the exclamation. <laughs> It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I sure you make right, the book in Right, of course. Sorry right. for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. He said yapping. Oh, type invader reloaded. Hold on. Oh, fair. Oh. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. I'm not a. I just closed out the game. This sucks, bro. <laughs> Rentacabin.com. Find your place to stay. Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. Can I just type in some blase? You love that. Even though I knew that was, you know, the name of the game, of course. Shut the fuck. Here we go. Private cabin. Is everything okay, though? Look at all of those. So I have to get this one. All right, let's book it. Let's do it. Private cabin in Woodbury. Okay, yep. Book cabin. Your booking has been confirmed. Nice. Come on now. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Here we go. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consultant firm in my city. Life at the firm was a, was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental place. Oh, my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. 
One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to Royal Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday, okay? Mike came to pick me up two days later. Dude, they didn't tell me anything about the killer though. They didn't tell me nothing about the killer. That goofy look on his face. How do I answer it? Put into the parking garage now, you down. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. Oh my God. I really gotta be on it, bro. I really gotta be on it. I really gotta immerse. Is this you? Oh God, what? Did you getting out the... All right, uh, what's up, bro? That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Long hug, just to just to test out to see if you if you shelled first. I got you, bro. Here we go. It's getting weird. You look good. Look you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. You know, I gotta compliment him back. You know, be 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 nice, Park Sydney. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Uh, oh my god, bro. Nah, you're the killer. Alright then, Art. Are you ready to hit the road? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Oh, I should have asked where's Nora? Oh my god, bro. Dude, this is the killer, bro. 100%. Here we go. It was starting to snow. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. So, is this like my boyfriend? Like, I don't get it. I think it is. Or like a friend or something? Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. It's like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of job, how's it going so far? How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? It sounds like... Rick Wilson. How do I, like, answer the text? Important work. How do I, like... Hmm. Art, do you ever miss college? Uh, only the cafeteria food. Oh, what my bro? What? Oh God! What was that? Did you see that? Did you see a school bus? Yeah. It was a school bus. Right there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. Nah, bro. You know someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Bro, how do I answer my phone, bro? I'm a signal when you're out this far. Jesus! All right. Let me cut that off. Oh, snap. You know, I read on the internet that in Native America, the lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Yeah, to turn back? Then let's do that then. Bro, how do I answer my phone? Okay, here we go. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward just to check. Okay, yeah, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting in. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. Okay. How far is it now? Are we even close? 
Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars in galley. Bro. Nah, he's just rambling at this point. Yo, Hart. Check that out. What am I checking out? Oh, here we go. Most pizza. Oh, a little pizza spot. Okay. Go for a quick little snack. You know, Harp. I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Yo, you really talk a lot, bro. This rear is ex exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Okay, that's 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 strike two for uh, Harp. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land, bro. I right, do this guy right here is something else. Go ahead, get the dough for me, Mike. <laughs> Yay, you appreciate you. See, look, see? This just in. It's good stuff. <laughs> that, that's how it should be. Oh, you cutting up, Stanley. You going ballistics. Oh, Norman Osborne, one of them. Who are you? Oh, that's Tom Holland. They got the whole gang here. Wigs and I'm sure you'll be fine. Usher. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mark Zuckerberg in the flesh. Nah, they got the whole gang here, bro. This is this is crazy, crazy cameos in this game. Who's that, Andrew Garfield? Who are you? Why is your build like that? Oh my goodness, I just gotta stop looking at you. You ruined in my mind. You ordering for both of us, bro, or just you? Either folks, looks like the <laughs> looks like the Coles got everyone craving pizza tonight. Man, you know, can't go wrong with pizza. Pizza always hit. You find folks know what you want to eat. You get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Hey, veggie slabs. And for you, miss? Oh man, veggie. It's either cheese or veggie. I don't use. I don't do pepperonis. Most special. I don't know. I don't want no special from you, guy. Cheese. All right. What's your second slice? Two cheese and a pepperoni. I mean, two cheeses and a veggie. Any drinks for you? Uh, water. I should just cover us just a piece of the day. Thanks. All right then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty. I got it. I already got my bevo. I'm good. Your order number is twenty-seven. Just grab a seat. I will call you when your pizza is ready. I appreciate that, my boss. I guess I gotta talk to him, huh? Here you go. Long sniff. What is that? What is that subtitle? <laughs> I just imagine him going like. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're a millionaire on heart, Nora. Uh, fancy zone, we know. Uh, we're on the road, Nora. Let us know where you going. Oh, oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. Mm. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. All right, but, uh, so sorry you guys. No, 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 no please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late drive slow and don't worry i'll make sure harp stays up to let you in okay cool hope she okay here we go okay just more messages all right bet. do it did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group yeah i just saw looks like she'll be late that's a bummer i guess we'll have to start the phone without her what can we do don't act like you don't know what i'm talking about Okay, bro. Go ahead and scarf this before we get back on the road. They said an hour out, bro. Uh, with this game, bro, you kind of got to look at the little details, bro, because, you know, a lot of this stuff is like, you know, kind of important. Oh, that's the worst sound effects. Piece of slaps. What is this lingo you're using, bro? 
Can't believe Norris missing out on this bomb pizza. I know, right? Got the sounds again. Nah, the way she's scarfing this pizza. Jesus, man! What is up with like people just walking up on me, bro? Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pulling. I saw y'all pulling driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and take notes? That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. No, bro. Give us an actual destination and maybe I would have considered, bro. Just an adventurer? You're not getting in our truck, bro. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Sure, you could come with us. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. No, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. We'll give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Oh, no, he's seen us pull in. He gonna know we lying. You gotta be no space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? My kind of people meet unkindness themselves. You must be careful out there. Are you threatening us? See, bro? No, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just cold and tired as is. Yeah, yeah, he did, bro. Did I, did I make the bad choice, bro? Well, that was weird. Yeah, bro. He didn't even order anything. Feel bad for the guy. And I don't, bro. I, I don't feel bad for him, bro. Like, you feel me? You feel me, y'all? Like, did I make the bad choice? He didn't even give us a destination. Wherever the road takes me, yeah, it's gonna take us. It, the road is gonna take you to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, no. Let me know in the comments, bro. What, what would y'all have done? First of all, and why is he not saying anything? Why is Mike not saying this stuff? Why, why am I saying it? Speak up, Mike. Oh, it's a burp. That piece was the perfect fuel for the... Yeah, bro, get up. Let's go, bro. We out of here. Holy, that was good. Who tags? All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see if the GPS is give me the keys. Cool. Hot, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? You get first choice of bedrooms, when or if we get there. Let's go. Got door open, yep. All right, there go that, there go that ambience. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. All right, uh, let me set my bag right there. Make sure this door is locked. Okay, okay, okay. There's no lock for this door. Why is there not a, it's, it's not a lock for the door, bro. Oh, this house is something, dude. This house is something, bro. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to close the blinds, bro. All right. This house is supposed to be how it is. How's it supposed to be how it is, bro? 
Let's, let's get an angle. Let's get let's get an angle, bro. Don't let nobody let nobody sneak up on us, dude. Yep. Okay, some milk. What type of milk is that, bro? Yeah. Do you hear the sounds? There it is. Now those sounds are crazy. Those sounds are crazy. Yeah. Lettuce. All right, that's everything. Okay. Whew. There you go. All right. Talk to me, bro. Whew. Sorry about that, heart. Are you okay? Long drive and all that piece really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, heart. Yep. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. Just us in this house. There is no... Okay, so bathroom there. Smell on toe piece. I really done a number on mic. Okay. Go ahead and uh, use the bathroom. Now watch the blinds, bro. Watch the blinds. You better not. You better not. You better not. Oh, to text Rick. We're on our way. Okay, please confirm when you check in. Hey, we've checked in. Keep looking out that window, bro. What the? F what? Get up. All right. Wash your hands. Dude, dude. Why couldn't I keep the door open? It's just me and Mike here. I don't want to open that door, bro. Mm. Oh God, dude, man. You feeling better after the drive? No, nah, I think I'm a little paranoid, bro. I think I'm a little paranoid that somebody's in this house. Much better now, I'm good. Want to check out the house? Yeah, come with me. Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. You right with me? Oh, thank God. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Yeah, man. That's the outside door. Okay, okay. Okay, as long as nobody in there, bro, like, I'm not checking this just for the, who out there, bro? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This Fierce to Fathom game is really like. Fierce to Fathom game is really creeping me out, bro. All these games do that. Okay. Okay, little closet area. All right. Oh my goodness, you look creepy. You Who are you, bro? Who are you, bro? Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, no. We're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh. Um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the, the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know that's how you talk, bro. Look at that stupid smirk on his face. You know? They say you treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. 
like, why aren't you saying anything? Speaking of that, now that y'all folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Nah, he, nah, he threw my whole vision off, bro. He threw my whole vision off. From the start, his present made us uncomfortable. Look at him! He's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. How long are we gonna be here? Let me show you the other bedroom now. Go ahead, bro. Yo, you, Mike, you're really making me upset, bro. Man to man, bro. Like, I'm not, at the, I'm not the player no more. From another, from a man to a man, bro. Like, why? Like, look, Carp, this room has a. Why didn't you say nothing about anything else, though, bro? Don't be like Mike. Look, Carp. This room has a nice view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Dude, eyes are like, cro like, man, bro. Oh, I want to read that so bad, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at that. Are you coming, miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't want to make you upset, bro. Where you at? Where y'all at? Oh my god, where did they go? Oh my god. Oh, I should have been paying attention. Oh no. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly. Definitely. Imagine folks like it. I don't want to make this dude mad. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch a cold here again. Catch the cold. All right. Mike, bro. Man, you're making me upset, Mike. Just, just, I'll close that, bro. Yeah. They think they slick. Nobody getting in here, bro. I'm mad this dude is in here. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power even goes out, if the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Why are you? Thanks. All right, folks. Let's head downstairs now. Ooh, bro. Nice, bro. Are you coming, miss? All right, bro. I'm on my way. At least we know where that flashlight is. We, we know where a flashlight is, bro. That's, that's huge, bro. That's huge. God, the vibe of this game is crazy. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. As long as all of these doors are locked, bro. Like, as long as all the doors are locked, I low-key want to close that, those blinds. Whoa. 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 No access to guests. Are you coming, miss? I want to go in there, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um... Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light 
will fire right up and you'll be back in business. If it ever stops working, just hit. Okay. Just hit the button at the bottom. Button at the bottom. Got it. All right. Are you coming, miss? Bro, give me a second, bro. I'm here. Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? That's what I was curious about. Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. I'm going in there, bro. Oh, but I don't want to die, bro. I'm going in there, but I don't want to die. Say something, bro. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I'll already keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down there, down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. I see his lips, bro. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging. <laughs> oh, God, boy. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that dang cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! <laughs> Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Yo, Mike, where you going at? Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. I don't want to say he weird, bro. All right, so everything's as it should be. It's all cool. Right? I mean, it should be all cool. Nobody hiding around corners. Let's just go take a shower, bro. Yep. Close that behind. Yep. Quick shower. Let's do it, bro. Nothing can kill me in the shower, bro. Like, you know. That, that was the old movies. Oh, yeah. I'm nice and fresh. Get a little towel. Yep. Love that. Okay. Yeah, a little, little lotion. Okay. A little perfume. Maybe I should brush my teeth. I don't know if I'm a, you know? Oh, God. Hey, don't be around this corner, Mike, trying to scare me, bro. What's in here? Cut that off. Mike, where you at? Oh, Jesus, Mike. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Heck yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. All right. Another rod in the shed, like, bro. Close the door behind ourselves. Come on, Harp, it's this way. All right, I'm coming, bro. I'm just trying to make sure we're safe, dude. Man. I just want us to be safe. You want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Where is it? Yeah, I grabbed it. Where is it at? Bro, am I tripping? Ah. 
Here we go. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We need to catch three carp, though. You up for a challenge? Let's do it. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're gonna catch some carp, Harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. You grab the bait. All right. Carp is uh baiting fish. Aaron. She is a delight. Chances of catching comic carp. Here we go. Chances of Kevin uh, comic carp. Cheese delight. Yep. Put on the hook. Yep. Come on, Harp. It's this way. I'm coming, bro. I'm ready. Closing these doors behind me so I would know, bro, if somebody came through. You know what I mean? Worst case scenario, they actually. It really look cold. It really look cold out here. Hope those carp are biting today. I sit down too. All right. It's behind us, clear, bro. Like, are we safe to do this? There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Bro, this slider is crazy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Common heart. Keep. Yeah. They say whether there's one card, there's always more. Whoa. Whoa. One card down to. Yo. Yo. That's a, that's the hitchhiker dude. Bro, that was the hitchhiker dude, bro. I know y'all seen the hitchhiker, bro. I know y'all seen him. You know how I know it was him? Because that's how they that's how they try to do it with these games, bro. That is how they try to do it with these games. Easy one. Oh my goodness, bro. Throw him back. That's not what I wanted. Got him. Got him. Let's go in. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. There go that music, bro. Dude, I got to run the recording back. I got to run the recording back, bro. Do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure, I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, a top. Man, you got me messed up, bro. Got me messed up. Okay, here we go. Oil. I just gotta gotta use my melon a little bit. Okay. Boom. Oil in. Yogurt. Yogurt gotta be in the fridge, bro. Let's see. Yogurt. Uh, yogurt. Yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Bingo. Put the yogurt in. Salt. Pepper. Here we go. I don't even know why like, I got I don't know why I wasn't thinking bro like that's what my salt and pepper would be like why was I making it difficult Italian seasoning I gotta be this right that's garlic yeah I need that too Italian seasoning prepare. so they got all this stuff on oh my goodness bro why was I making it difficult like why was I making it difficult like that's not what would be on mine you know what I mean those carbs are going to taste amazing when we wait for it to cook how about we play it some board games. I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. In the room next to the living room. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God! Oh my god, bro. Chess, that sucks. Wait a minute. I look like... 
<laughs> Catopoli. Here we go. With two people though. Please don't shoot my idea down. Not feeling that one right now, Hart. Bro. Of course he's just gonna shoot my idea down. He don't get the vision, bro. You see which one stands out, y'all? You know which one they want me to pick. Look, I'ma take him, I'ma take him to Jenga. The, the, I'ma take him to Tower Stack. You know he's not gonna want this one, right? Ah, Tower Stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I played it. So it's been a long time too. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. Alright, let's do it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they wasn't gonna let me play none of them. If it wasn't well, the Ouija. I'm not playing the Ouija. Whenever you're ready, Harp. Start game. Let's do it, bro. Go to select the block. I can select any block. Oh, they winning. On to, on to lean left. Oh, they really went. They really went crazy with this. Wait, hold on. Drag to draw the loop. So if I hit the edge, it's over. I'm not losing that early, bro. I'm not. I'm not losing that early. Hey, hard. Do you practice this in your free time? Come on, bro. I'm professional. You know they call me the Tower Whisperer. All right, bro. You know they call me. You know they call me. You know they call me. You're done. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All about precision here. It's all about precision here. Come on now. Too easy, right? Come on now. It's a W. That's how it's done, Hart. Man, it's a W right here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh crap! Oh my goodness, looks like our fall tower has a free fall moment. How about one more? Okay, one more round it is. Let's do it, bro. Dude, I'm winning this one. I'm winning this one. I'm winning this one. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Speed kills. Speed kills. Come on. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear none of that. Be kills, bro. Yeah, I'm going for the I'm going for the difficult ones. I'm trying to put you away, bro. Yeah. Yeah. See the speed on that? Check the speed, bro. Seeing sky drivers with less stability in your tower block. Come on now. You finna make it fall. Easy dub. Dummy. Man, losing to you makes me feel like a kid again. You wanna go again? Let's leave it at that for now. One and one. One and one, bro. That was a fun game, Harp. You did really well. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Me too, bro. I could go for some fish. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to eat some good food after I record this, bro. I'm hungry. Yeah, this is making me hungry in real life. Oh my god, I thought I just seen somebody out there. That was the tree though. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Let's do it. Sure. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. We can start Here making we go. the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes. The cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce. Bro, is that the lazy, bro? <laughs> Got to keep that fancy flavor bro. in there. All right. The Big next bite. thing we prepare is the mayo. Big bite, watch the surroundings. We stir Big fry bite, this. Left right. Pan with Big bite, left right. Toast. Remember that motto. I'm not going to lie. This is going to taste like shit. <laughs> but bro. here you are anyway, listening to my cooking 
Big bite left this right. Remember that motto, y'all. I'm killing mine. Look at him. We gotta he playing with his food. A little I'm eating, bro. To make sure it doesn't Big bite left right. Us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to I was to done with it. it. After doing that, we mix Fine all food. the ingredients Price together. Tyson's good since we caught tray. the fish ourselves. It was all right. It was really good. We make a great team, all right? Yeah. Hey, anyways. Okay, and while that's cooking, I need to check my start, emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. I thought we were taking a break from work. Soaked ramen. It's not this work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Eating. I'll be right a back. I got clean up here. Cooks. It requires a lot of patience all right. and skill. What I appreciate you, you. Appreciate you for being lazy for uh, you know what I'm saying. Providing entertainment while I eat my food. But bro. I'm saying I gotta lock in, bro. I have to lock in. Emails while he do his work. Let me watch these as fast as possible, bro. As fast as possible. Cause bro, this game is giving me the the, the creeps, bro. I'm talking about. They did a great job with this game. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You you downstairs yet? I think there's something under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Bro. 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 No, nah, no, nah, we're done. No, nah, no, nah, we're done. We're done. You're like, I didn't break your nose. Oh, my dude just ran. At Mike, you're done. You're done, Mike. You're done. This is why we're not together, bro. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Come on, it was just a joke. We're gonna go for the next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you for this. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Bro, easy, bro. Is the basement a good hiding spot? I couldn't open the door. Well, I tried. Oh, I decided to, oh, oh. I'm muting my mic. Huh? Got me. Aha! Got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright. Alright. My turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Space to close eyes. All right. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. You know why he think he's smart? It's a divergent. Close that door. He's in here, bro. Watch this. Yikes. I thought I was... I really thought I was on to something, bro. <laughs> I'm looking for you, bro. Okay, that door is already open. Oh, this door is open. Oh, my God. Dead giveaway, bro. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway, bro. Is that you, bro? Is that you? Oh, boy. Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. You're going to try this again? No kidding, Sydney. 
I really heard something sliding up there. Didn't you hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life. I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Yo, bro. Why'd you walk up on me like that? Couldn't reach you without my step stool. Where's the step stool? Oh my goodness, right in my face. Right in my face. Here we go. Boom. All right. All right, bro. Let's do it. What is that picture? I should have brought the flashlight. Hey, hey, little cat. Hey, little cat. It's a cat, bro. It's a cat. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only. Well, that's a relief. I was ready. I was worried there for a moment. I think she was hungry. You ready to count again? Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of those carp after I come find you again. Another spot, bro? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. I don't want to play this game no more. Tool shed in the backyard? Man, 360s, bro. 360s, man. There's no hiding spot in here. Nice. There you are. Hey, Carp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Hurry, bro. Count fast. Count fast, bro. Count fast. Get in the house. God. What we got? Get back in the crib. I'm checking upstairs again, bro. I I'm too scared to go back in that basement right now. Okay, that door is open. All right. All right. Okay. 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 What are you doing back in here? What's going on? What happened? Oh, hey there. Why are you in here again? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Bro, we bought... Man, you weird, Rick. You weirdo, bro. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, must have been that old lady. Remember? <laughs> Look, we need to get to bed now. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? Oh crap. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Yeah, bro, and that's the first. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Can we take that hammer, bro, from you? 
Mike, the first thing you say is trying to threaten dude to call the police and it's his house. Mike, bro. Mike, you really making me upset. Let's make sure let's make sure he leaves. Boy, 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 this game is crazy. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Oh no, here we go. At 11.39 p.m., this is when stuff happens. This is when stuff happens, bro. Just... Heard knocking, bro. Oh, goodness. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure, bro. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. God is supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. Yeah, I wish he does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the dang house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Oh, uh, here we go. Harp. You know. Oh, uh, you see, this is this. He, I missed this. He making his move? Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mark, where's this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Mark, where's this coming from? Oh, no. Oh no. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. I do remember it really well. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Like we had a lot to drink, things happened. Oh man, are you the killer? Or did I'm hoping maybe. Oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Like I don't want this. I don't think this is a good time. Bro, he's looking off into space, bro. I'm spooked. I'm checking my phone, bro. Drive slow, make sure. SOS, please. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I think. Wow. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Mike, go get her, bro. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. If we can, we better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our A's off. That's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. It's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Yo, you know what? Let me get up. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. 
Can I just go to sleep, bro? Can I just go back to sleep? I'm gonna go to bed without looking. Locking the front door. Yeah, yeah. Smart. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry. I'm driven it worse. Alright. Besides, no one's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? No. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. I got you, bro. Two dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Got to save Mike. All right, bro. Close that door. Back upstairs, sleep. Now the game begins. Now the game begins, bro. Now the game begins. Here we go. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knows how to cheer me up, and I need it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39, they're still gone, bro. Are they still gone? Get up. Is that them? Someone was at the front door. God, I can't see out there, bro. Oh my God. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. What the? What? I'm not opening nothing, bro. I saw you there, my friend. Please. I'm freezing to death out here. I'm not opening the door. Not in a million years. Bro, he's just knocking nonstop, bro. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks. But I was hoping you let me get inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. Are you effing kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I shouldn't have known you'd be as big as it'd be here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Let me tell you something. You get what's coming to you after leaving me out here. Karma's a bee, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Irrelevant? I can sleep after something like that? Not in a million years. I guess we go to sleep, bro. Just fearless, huh? Just fearless. Whoa! Oh my god! How can I still be laying down after that? Oh, something hit my window! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Go through a snowball! 
At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Bro threw a snowball at my window. Rick, where you at? Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. Oh my goodness, he was banging. I'm pretty scared, and I think uh, him moving around outside the house. Could you please, could you please come look since you live so close? What did he say? What did he say? God. What did Rick say? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Oh man, you pulled up, bro. Despite how strange things have been, seeing him was a relief. Open the door, misses me. Whoa, why you still got that hammer? What the heck is going on here? Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Bro. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Oh, yeah, bro. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike? He went to pick something up from a friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? First of all, ladies, if you're watching this video, don't ever do that. Don't ever open the door. I ah, uh, she asked for his help, I guess. Whatever. It's real right now, huh? Yeah, but my friend will be back soon. Look at him looking around, bro. This dude is crazy. Why do you still have a hammer, bro? What was that scream? Oh no, bro. Oh no. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Check the message, bro. Come back over, what do you mean? Haven't been to the rental in weeks. Oh yeah, I can't move! I can't move! Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Oh God, oh God, it's not Rick. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends, they're almost here. You're not Rick, are you? It's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. Yeah, thanks for coming by though. Oh my God, you can, I'll be fine now. You can get back if you want to, say something, bro. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. This is my house. I will leave when I want to. Get out before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you? You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, oh my goodness, it's me, bro, in a body bag. Oh my God. It will be one of us. Dude, I can't. I can't with this game, bro. It will be one of us. You go ahead and do that.
I supposed to go? Upstairs. Upstairs. All the way up. <gasps> yep. 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 Close the door behind. I should have closed that door behind. I should have closed that door behind. Do I got a do I got a way to see? Man. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking to cut the phone off fast enough. Make sure he leaves. Is he gone? This man bust the door down. Come on, come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Good stuff, bro. Oh my God. Is that the end of the story? I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down. The storm has quieted down. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. He got away on our drive back. The whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it was being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think we we think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. Yeah, Rick knew who that was, bro. That dude was there for Rick. We just got caught in a crossfire of that. Oh, time. I'm thinking it's the hitchhiker. <laughs> I'm thinking it's the hitchhiker, bro. The time he didn't do nothing wrong. The hitchhiker was cool. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, check the whole crib, cops. Yo, shout out to everybody in development. Nora, the voice actors, news reporter, Queso. That's a YouTuber, right? Or a streamer? TV animation, yeah. Camera animation. Yo, that's fire, bro. to finish a fire game bro thank you for playing fierce to fathom got you bro fire game fire studio 
Just a fire concept, bro, all around, honestly. Stay safe out there, y'all. Stay safe and be careful where you're going. Be kind to people. Lock your doors. And if you're of age, keep a burner, bro. Ha, ha, ha.